that as well. Like, do we have some sort of responsibility to educate people? I mean, it, it has impacted our society, regardless of what you think about the election. It has definitely um, impacted things. So, how do you how do you bring people along to understand young younger generations? Is that our job to educate them to understand what real journalism is? And uh, especially now with mass media, I mean, I think it's different. You get so many things online. It's much easier to tune into those channels that agree with you. Just while we're talking about this, yeah. because uh, you know, I, I'm technically a millennial. I think I'm not sure how you define it. Uh, to go with the airline, fool you. I'm, I'm younger than it seems. Um, but uh, what, uh, one of the things that it's 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 easy to kind of say because most of the big news was about Hillary Clinton or anything like that. It's easy to say, oh, this this is a problem for conservatives. This is a problem for you know old people. You know, like sharing this kind of thing. I mean, we saw with the, the BuzzFeed report of, or release of the spy document most recently, this goes both ways. I mean, uh, I brought up confirmation bias before, and you know, if you're on Twitter and you have a lot of lefty friends, uh, what you're gonna see a lot of is everyone's just sure that Russia has blackmail on Donald Trump, and it's been talked about and talked about and talked about. So then a document with really bad sourcing and easily identifiable errors suddenly goes live, and then that's all anyone can talk about on social media for like, you know, for days and days and days. I mean, it, the, the sword cuts both ways. It's not just some like single party or some age group or anything like that. It's, it's kind of a human problem. Um, and it, so we have to address it as such, too. And I think that goes back to the whole topic of we know, but you can't know. Right. So I thought there was, a, there was an incredible um, discussion on uh, Brian Stetler's show on CNN between the BuzzFeed gentlemen and between CNN. Because that report had been out for months. Hundreds of people had seen that report, primarily journalists and people, and they were all talking about it. And once CNN said, we know what's in it, we know that probably most of it's not true, but we're not going to tell you about it, the BuzzFeed guy said, wait a minute, what's that? You're not going to tell us about it. We're not intelligent enough to make our own decisions on what's in here. So the, I thought that was a fascinating discussion that did cut both ways, no matter which way you were, because the the mainstream traditional journalists were like, why did you put that up? That's our job to decide editorially what should be out. And the BuzzFeed guy said, yeah, you told us that. In fact, you told us that you saw everything that's in there and you really don't need to see it. So that's why we put it up. And I thought that was one of the most interesting things that came out of the whole BuzzFeed issue. So that same interview, if you haven't seen it, you should really check it out. So it was Reliable Sources this past Sunday. Another exchange, another portion of that exchange between Brian Stelter and, and Ben Smith from BuzzFeed is when uh, BuzzFeed's Ben Smith said to Stelter, well, you applied, uh, you applied a different standard. And Stelter said, yeah, it's journalism. <laughs> and, and I laughed too, and then I thought, that's why people hate us. Like, that's why people hate us. Those are two journalists having a discussion about different ethical discussions in different newsrooms, and one of them pulled out journalism like a club and attempted to beat the other one with it. And and that and that bugged me because their discussion was really good. It was a really chewy discussion, but the pomposity in that comment was was really really bothersome. And I would just I would just. Tag on what you're saying is the other millennial up here. Um, I don't know that millennials are more susceptible to fake news. I just anecdotally, I think they might actually have better BS detectors just because they're they're digital so natives. Dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one unifying factor for people, regardless of age, and especially young people, is that they don't want to be embarrassed and they don't want to feel stupid. And if we can appeal to their instincts to look good, look smart, and to make decent decisions, that might have more cachet than truth.